Hey guys, back for another little short break video. We got 10 of the hanger packs from Walmart. Still haven't found any Heritage at Target yet, so I can work on the Target inserts. But still working on the Heritage inserts, so we'll fire up a, a little break here and do a few packs of the uh, uh, 2020 Heritage Series 1 fat packs. And these are from Walmart. And these are actually from the Walmart on... Uh, 53 and 56 in Chicago uh, in the area around Downers Grove while So we'll see what we get here All right, we got a Miguel Sano short print number 441 and a flashback of Tom as terrific as ever versus the Pirates of so Tom Seaver insert and this one looks like pretty much all veteran base. Get one of the World Washington Nationals uh, finish the fight. So that's the after game seven. All right. One pack down. No rookies in that pack at all. Yeah, I still need base cards to finish sets and stuff too. So I don't mind spending a little extra on the retail. Uh, these have a lot of base cards and stuff in them, too, and uh, a little easier to work with. Mets, Armand Rosario. Okay. Got a Nick Sinzel short print, number 482. And a Joe Torres bat stays red hot in September. Uh, that is number 12 in the baseball flashbacks. So both the first two packs have baseball flashbacks in them. Kyle Tucker on the end there. So two for two on short prints. There were one in three packs, so at least we're up ahead a little bit here. Uh, the other day I hit 20 packs and I only got four short prints. Oh, man. The problem with hanger packs. There's the Aaron Judge card. And it's got a bent corner on it, so no good. That's one of the problems with hanger packs, and you just deal with it. But... Most of the time, it's not a decent card, so it's okay. Back situation, it was an Aaron Judge. Uh, let's see. Nope. So, no short print in this one. We hit uh, a cultural arbiter arrives on CBS. 1971 was the start of Archie Bunker. NF12. Albies, Guzman. Hmm. All right, so these packs, I haven't seen a rookie yet, so we're just in the base area where the rookies aren't. Kind of crazy. All right, pack four. Pack four. All right, right off the bat, Jordan and Aquino. But see, that's on the front of the pack. That is so easy for that card to get damaged on the front of one of these retail packs. This one is in good shape. I don't see any problems with the edges or corners. So we're in good shape there. Rockies rookies. Rays rookies. Michael Chavez, last card in the set. Number 500 short print for the Boston Red Sox. A flashback of Rod Carew. Uh, baseball flashback number five. And Andrew Haney on the back. All right, pack number five. Halfway through, three short prints out of four so far. We'll see if the luck continues. Yeah, a little bit of damage on a couple of cards in the middle there from being in the pack. It looks like they, uh, somebody dropped that one. That's another issue. you got to watch for drop packs on these. These cards are paper, and they do bend easily. So you have to be careful with that heritage. All right. Middle of the pack, we got a Seth Brown, A.J. Puck rookie. Triple. Looks like this is one of the packs with no insert in the middle of it. Let me go back and look at the backs on this one see if we missed anything. Sometimes you can hit stuff on the back you don't see on the front. OK. 
Okay, definitely no short print and no insert. You will find, even on the big backs, there are empty ones that don't have anything in them. Which always makes it fun. Okay. NASDAQ flashbacks. That's when the first time for automated stock trading was 1971. Can you imagine doing stock trading on paper? Oh my lord. How could they have ever gotten it right? Okay. Got an Indians rookie in that pack. Alright, so now we're falling behind on the short prints again. That's just the way it works sometimes. Alright, here we go. Giants, rookies. Oh, there we go. Oh, and the card upside down in the middle of the pack. I guess the whole second half of the pack's upside down. All right, so rookies for the Blue Jays, Bo Bichette and Anthony K. number 52. Looks like we got another one of the empty packs. Blue Jays, Zook. Yep, didn't see anything there. Look at the backs real quick. 39. Nope, no short print in that one either. Alright, so two out of the ten packs have been empty. This is typical of what you get on Heritage. Um, you know, if you've been used to opening Top Series 1, this is a drag. <laughs> Without all the stacks of inserts and stuff. But, you know, it's a different product, different set. Definitely better cards. Alright, and no short print in this pack. But we do have Nico Herner and uh, Albert Alizé, pretty decent rookies. And we get a then and now, Bly Levin and Garrett Cole. And we're hitting some rookies and stuff in here, so we're good. Okay. Next pack. Down to two. Of course, both times I've opened these, it's been last pack mojo that had the big card in it. One was a Trout Auto and the other one was a, uh, a uh, variation card. Wow, third one that's empty. Mm -mm -mm. This stuff is tough. Kobe Allard at the back. Once again, we'll check the rear for numbers. This is why I pretty much, for the most part, just like blasters. Because you guarantee to get three short, three, two or three short prints per blaster box for your 20 bucks. And this stuff at $6 a pack is not near a good to buy. I mean, we've only got four short prints out of 10. So we did okay. One and three. Out of 10 packs, we should have gotten four or three of them, and we got four so far. And it looks like we got something in this pack, though. Oh, we got a booklet. Okay, good. So we got one of the retail inserts, and that's really what I'm buying these for. So we actually did get one. They're one and eight, so I got one out of ten. And let's see if we get a rookie with it. Nope. So we got a scratch off of Pete Alonzo, and I actually need that one, so that's cool. Team captain and card number 15 of 15 in the set. So it worked out. And we did get a Yordan. We did get a Boba Shet. Uh, the only rookie I didn't see in there was the Gavin Lux and the kid, but I've got plenty of those already. already. Plenty of those cards already. Okay. That's it. I got four short prints. Uh, inserts, we got then and nows. Uh, this was mostly flashbacks. We got uh, Michael Chavez, uh, Nick Senzel, and Miguel Sano. So we only got three short prints. But we're, you know, one in three packs. We got ten packs, so we're fine. Uh, we got five flashbacks and one Burt Blyle oven now and then. And then the, what we were working on is the Walmart scratch off. Uh, we got uh, Pete Alonzo, team captain. Those are one in eight. So we're okay on that also. Uh, we did hit some decent rookies. We did get the uh, the Ordon and the Aquino. 
And we hit the Horner and Alize for the Cubs, which is a decent one. It's not huge, but it's decent. We got the Boba Shed Anthony K, which is a decent one. And we hit the triples for the deal. That Lazardo kid is incredible. And don't put past AJ Puck and Seth Brown. Those kids are going to be good too. A's are going to be better this year if their pitching holds up. And uh, Hillard for the outfield for the Rockies. That's a kid to watch too. He's another Nolan Arenado. Just waiting in the wings. All right, so that's our little break video for this one. Uh, remember, we're doing a four box random division break. Uh, four boxes of Heritage, and it goes by AL, NL, East, West, and Central. So six spots, $88 a spot, four box break. Uh, I will say that the first four boxes in this case, uh, we saw three jersey cards and one box I shipped to California. So I don't know what was in that one. On average, in these cases, we are hitting four jersey or eight jerseys and four autographs. So we know of three of the eight jerseys already gone. We've got eight boxes left. So odds are we've got autographs in the break, and we've got autographs in the four boxes that are in the store. We're selling those for 93 a box delivered. So pretty decent odds that you're going to get autographs in boxes compared to a normal case to start with, because we know we've got four boxes out. I did send one to California. I don't know whether it had an auto in it or not. So there's one. All right. So that's where we're at. Thank you for watching the break. And we'll get it posted tonight. And I'll see you guys tomorrow at noon. We'll be on from 12 to, 12 to 4 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. And then I'll pop back on at 7 o'clock tomorrow night. We'll see if we can't fill the break. And see what we can get going on it. Uh, so we got a random four box. Uh, division team break. It'll be AL, National League, East, Central, and West. Three different divisions have the three big teams. The Dodgers, the Astros, and the uh, Blue Jays are all in separate divisions. So you're going to hit good teams in all six divisions, but three of them will be a little bit better than the other. That's why I decided to go ahead and do random versus picking the division because no one would take the NL Central. <laughs> um so that way, somebody's got to get stuck with uh, all those teams. And you've got Milwaukee on there. They just don't have a big rookie this year. Uh, anyway, those should be pretty good. And then we're doing a 12-box random team break, uh, $48 a spot. We've got 26 spots left in that. That'll be for a full sealed case of Heritage. Uh, and, you know, so far our cases have been okay. They haven't been bad at all. They've just been normal. Um, anyway, that's where we're at. And I will be on again um, tomorrow night or tomorrow afternoon at noon. Um, I generally fire the sites up in the morning for advertising, probably around 8 a.m. I am available around walking around. If you need anything, just chime in on the chat, and I'll, uh, I'll look at it every once in a while, but give me a little time to look, and we'll go from there. So you all have a good evening, and we'll see you tomorrow. You have a good one. Uh, YouTube, who's, uh, somebody's watching on there. Who is it? Is that you, Jordan? Is it Jordan or John? I got to figure out how you can tell who's on. I know you can do it. I just don't know how. <laughs>